Jordan Love checking in. You are awesome. And we're back hosting another event, our first event in two months. We're hosting Hempfest here at the beautiful Dublin Deck in Patchog. But why am I talking? Let's go. What are you most excited for tonight? Smoking a lot of weed, a lot of people having a lot of good times. Sitting stone. Dude, we got awesome bands, awesome vendors, awesome venue. It's a great time. Let's go. I want to get high. I want to get low. Come on, I want to smoke a little split with you. I want to get high. I want to get low. Come on, I want to smoke. Can we make a round of applause for Staff Fest movers and everybody here at Dublin Deck who brought this event together? Are y'all ready for the next set? It's out of respect. There we go. Lift in love here with Brian Costello, the creative mind behind Staff Fest and Movers. What are you most excited for at Staff Fest this year? I think we're thinking a lot differently about this year. Like, we're not trying to get 10,000 people, we're trying to give as much value to those 2,000 people that are coming. I want to smoke a little step with you. Lift in love here with Teddy Mack from Weed Maps, the regional marketing manager for all of the East Coast. What exactly is Weed Maps? So, when you think of Weed Maps, think of like Uber Eats, think of Jersey, think of Postmates. It's basically a one stop shop for everyday cannabis. Without further ado, fresh off of a new single, Funky Tonight, make some noise for the Logan. Willie Man! Smoking love, yeah, you know. Can you tell the people a little about Vibe Fest? Yeah, so Vibe Fest is all about bringing together the wellness, the spiritual, and the art community together. It's about creating a high vibe experience. Really, we want people from all walks of life to connect. This is the start of the summer. This, this kicked everything off for us. It was a great turnout. We help people with anxiety, sleep problems, uh, pain relief problems. Give me that good I grade that my Molly strain will make you feel the pain. This is our table, uh, the Lifting Love Foundation. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. We feed families in need, but this is my beautiful girlfriend and secretary, Gabby. She's going to ask me a couple questions. What made you start at Lifting Love Foundation? We can help a lot of people. Um, I've always wanted to help people my whole life, and I think feeding people is the easiest way to help people. Um, you know, whether it's food for a day or food for a week, you know, we just want to help as many families as we can. There's a lot of hurting families on the island, and food stability, instability. Stability is not something that's talked about a lot. We fed over 70 families so far in our next event, May 29th. We're looking to do over 100 families, so that's going to be exciting. I'm beyond excited. We're here. It's our first vending event. We got a little bit of a table over here, and you know we're just kind of spreading the word, trying to get donations, and you know anything helps. You know there's a lot of people out there who get food every night and have a, a roof over their head. Uh, we just want to help the people who may not have that uh, that ability to get that food every night and a roof over their head in any way we can. We're gonna be packaging everything, and our event will be uh, at the BMW 2913 post. Uh, but we're gonna be feeding families at a Belcourt Homestead, Gordon Heights, just anywhere we can to help people in need.